An action potential arrives at the presynaptic terminal, causing voltage-gated calcium ion channels to open, increasing the calcium ion permeability of the presynaptic terminal cell membrane. Calcium ions enter the presynaptic terminal and cause vesicles to release their neurotransmitter acetylcholine from the synaptic vesicles into the presynaptic cleft. Diffusion of acetylcholine across the synaptic cleft and binding of acetylcholine to acetylcholine receptors on the postsynaptic muscle fiber membrane causes an increase in the permeability of ligand-gated sodium ion channels. The movement of sodium ions into the muscle cell results in depolarization of the postsynaptic membrane. Once threshold has been reached, a postsynaptic action potential is generated and is propagated over the muscle cell membrane. Acetylcholine is rapidly broken down to acetic acid and choline in the synaptic cleft by the enzyme acetylcholine esterase. The choline is reabsorbed by the presynaptic terminal and combined with acetic acid to form more acetylcholine, which enters the synaptic vesicles. Come on, Amy. Dance. Come on, get up. Get up and dance. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on, Amy. Get up. Show me some moves, Amy. <laughs> You want me to put some music in for you? Right. Amy! Mom! For severe knee pain, we do the first ones that we did inside the knee and outside the knee. And then for more severe pain, go above the patella. And then below. So it should be comfortable. And then once again, you'd apply tape over the top. In the case of the knee, if it's on for a long, for a long period of time, you would use pieces of hyperset fix instead of the transport. Now looking at the knee placement, a lot of pain is medially. We don't go right over the condyle, we come a little bit more anteriorly so you can get to the faces of the joint. So for mild pain, medially and laterally, just onto the outside of the kneecap. So that's the lateral placement, that's the medial placement, and then above and below the patella. So just here, issue um, the tubercle of the tibia, and then above, just above the knee cap, right over the prepatellar bursa.